Hello! What's good? What's poppin'? Welcome to another video. You know, since moving on to more anime type stuff, I figured I should give you guys another top 10. And what better way to do it than my top 10 favorite anime? So, if you're amped, hyped, turnt for today's video, you know what to do? Hit that like button, please! It helps bring that engagement up and lets YouTube know that we out here rocking. And if you're ready for this, let's get into the video. At number 10 is One Piece. I've loved this series since first seeing it on Toonami all those years ago. For me, it made pirating look so cool. Sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean. One Piece got you beat. The cast of the characters is insane, with most having a great deal of depth to them, making each of them a joy in their own right. And one of my favorite aspects of One Piece is the concept of the Devil Fruits, so seeing a new Devil Fruit used it for the first time is always a great surprise. My only gripe with the show, and I'm sure most would say it's the biggest flaw, is that the series drags on. The One Piece manga began in 1997, and it's still going. And truth be told, as much as I love the series, I fell off from it, and it's going to be a chore to catch back up. Next up is one that is near and dear to my heart, Digimon. And that includes every season in the franchise. How could I not include it on this list? I spent a good portion of my time on YouTube focusing on Digimon content, not to mention that it was a childhood staple for me. I can't tell you how many times I saw the first Digimon movie. When it comes to the whole Pokemon versus Digimon debate, when it comes to purely the anime, Digimon wins every time. For a kid's show, the characters are way more developed and dynamic, and the stories are more complex. Sorry, but a life or death adventure deciding the fates of two worlds is a lot more interesting than a kid not catching them all and collecting gym badges for 20 plus seasons. Following up at number eight is one that I enjoy purely because of how far out it can be, and that is, is this a zombie? For those who don't know, the plot revolves around a high school student who died and got resurrected into a zombie and must look after the necromancer who brought him back to life. But along with the necromancer, he shelters a magical garment girl and a vampire ninja. I know that plot sounds all over the place, but once you give it a watch, you'll see how this show comes together actually pretty nicely. It's a nice blend of lighthearted comedy, supernatural action, and slice of life. Of course, it has a few other things going for it that gets one hooked, but I digress. If you like wacky humor, but also meaningful moments when it counts, check it out. Number seven is another childhood classic, Dragon Ball Z. This is an anime I feel like it is impossible to avoid, no matter when you grew up. I wasn't born early enough to catch DBZ I was airing for the first time. As a matter of fact, I was born during the Majin Buu saga. So obviously, I had to watch it in syndication, but that doesn't mean the impact was less real for me when I did get to watch it. There probably isn't anything I can say about it that hasn't already been said. But this list is about my favorite anime, so I'll just talk about my opinions on it. I was hooked, just as simple as that. Since seeing Goku in action started from the Saiyan saga, to seeing the very first Super Saiyan transformation, to seeing the fusion of Gotenks? There was nothing that little me saw wrong with Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, as I got older, I was able to properly criticize the show for the weak points that it did have. However, I'm a DBZ fan to the end. Our next one might ruffle some feathers simply because of the placement, but I gotta speak my truth. Naruto is number six. In comparison to DBZ, Naruto has a more developed story a more interesting story, and a whole host of colorful characters you watch grow. Not to mention that the show made being ninjas the most epic thing in existence. This was another anime that was introduced to me on Toonami, and every week, I was glued to that TV to see what's happening in Konoha. Naruto was the first anime I vividly remember having deep conversations with my friends about. Even now, I'm still having discussions about it. The anime was so ingrained into my life that I actually learned the hand seals to focus my own chakra. It didn't do anything, but it looked cool. Oh, you're saying it didn't? Ah, uh, cool. In the fifth spot is Lucky Star. Not everything needs to be over the top craziness, beam struggles, or deep plot. 
Sometimes a nice chill slice of life series is just what one needs. I don't really have much to say about this because it is so chill in comparison to the others on the list. As I've gotten older, I've come to appreciate the more mundane things in life. Remember the deep conversations you had or the situations you got yourself into with your friends in school? It didn't come pat with a Kamehameha wave or a Sangon or a gum gum pistol to the face. It was just a regular thing, but in the moment, that was something interesting. That's what I think appeals to me the most about the show. It can make the most plain thing catch your attention. But this is the only chill show on this list. Let's get back to the action. F4 is one of the most underrated anime in my opinion, and that is Zatch Bell. Another Toonami classic, Zatch Bell had such a dope concept. In summary, every 1,000 years, 100 demon children called Momoto are sent from their world to engage in a free-for-all tournament to decide who will be the next ruler of their world. Zatch is one of those Momoto, and it's his goal to win the battle to fill a promise to become a kind king. Each Momoto has a variety of special abilities specific to them, but they can only be unlocked by having a human partner reading from a spellbook. Needless to say, Zatch Bell got me hooked day one, and it's my life's goal to complete the manga set for it. My only complaint is that the series wasn't dubbed completely, but I finished it regardless, and I was not disappointed in the slightest. Taking the bronze medal at number three is Kill a Kill. Ever since I went to my first anime convention in 2014 and saw a panel on it, I never looked back. Upon my first watch through it, I was thinking, hmm, this is wild. The action is heavy, the dialogue cuts deep, and the plot just takes you on a wild ride. Kill a Kill is one of those shows that one watch through is not enough. You need to watch it again and again just to get a deeper understanding of things. It touches on elitism, greed, power, existentialism, just to name a few. If you're a casual anime watcher, but you want to step your game up, look into Kill a Kill. In second place is another that's still going. Food Wars. Let me tell you something. When this was first introduced to me in 2012, I was like, yeah, nope. It took me eight years to finally go back to give it a fair shot, and boy, I'm glad I did. It's no secret that food in anime looks amazing. But the food in Food Wars? Orgasmic. Making a shonen show about cooking was a genius move. When it comes to anime, I'd rather watch it dubbed over subbed, and if it's not dubbed, I'm in no rush to see it. With Food Wars, I did not hesitate to continue it subbed once the dub ran its course. I was that invested. Even now, I'm anxiously waiting for more episodes to be released, but of course, the Rona had to ruin everything. One day, one day, and my favorite anime of all time is Inuyasha. Not gonna lie, probably shouldn't have been watching it since it got released when I was a wee lad, but I couldn't look away. Inuyasha had the dopest design, and his sword, the Tetsaiga? Come on now. I was also one of those kids doing his Iron Reaper Soul Stealer in secret. Even as a child, I had no shame. But in all seriousness, I have nothing negative to say about Inuyasha. For nearly 200 episodes, I was there all the way. And from what I've heard, there's a new project in the works centered on Inuyasha and Kagome's children. If that comes to fruition, best believe I'm with it 100%. And that, people, is my list of my 10 favorite anime. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Like button, please. I don't want to beg. Please, please. And leave your own list down in the comment section below. I'd like to know what you guys were watching. And if you agree, with some of the stuff on my list or watch some of the stuff on my list hey you already know let your boy know and i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you bye